Okay, it is same day, 725, I'm going to call it a night tonight. Okay, this is how many hours I got into it. 26 hours and 15 minutes. And it's done as far as the diamond plate. Um, the only thing I really added was these. And I didn't go all the way down here. I was going to add down there. But um, I think the exhaust and everything is going to be right there. And you're not going to be able to see it. And you have to, it's going to be hard enough once the motor in to run these wires up underneath here on both sides. And you have to make things accessible. Like right here I was going to, on this side I, I did the plate right next to the radiator. This one I left the gap in it because you got the radiator holes, and I, and it's not my car, and I don't know how much room you need. And another reason is this: say your radiator is leaking, and you're somewhere and you have nice clothes on, you don't want to crawl into the car to see where it's leaking. You know, you got to make things accessible. Anyway, I went back and made a um. See now it feels more balanced to me because I went back, and I made over the windshield wiper motor. Um, I don't know where the patterns are. I cleaned the garage up. I couldn't make it flat with, like the rest of them. Um, I had to make it stick out a little bit. And then um, everything's pretty much a fix now. Um, and then I didn't like how the windshield wiper motor, so what I did I took the cover off and made a diamond plate cover over it. And then a buddy of mine stopped by and I got a monster can, cut that down. Maybe that ain't going to work. Maybe it will work. Um, what I did here is I had to hog those holes out. And I didn't want to keep on taking it off, putting it back on. So what I did is I took a pill bottle and cut the bottom out so I could see where it's at and draw around it. Because I didn't want to just make a really huge hole. I wanted to use what I had and oblong it. I think what I'm going to have them do is put a rubber hose on it, put two clamps on it, then something like this, a piece of I mean, piece of plastic, and so you can hook it here, and then if you ever have a problem, take it off. That's what I would do. Um, I made the clearance work here, because these wouldn't close, so now they they got clearance there. Um, tomorrow. Me, um, depends if he like Don likes the theme of the M for Mustang. What I'd do is take the radiator cap and that's the top of a um, monster drink. Um, that's what I would do. Um, I ain't really got, I had to cut this back because I couldn't get this spring to open up here. So I did that. Um, did this plate. And I didn't, another reason why I did it like this, I didn't do it square and then put black plate here is because I just felt that it flows when you make, because what I did here too is I cut this first, I had it square right here. Let's see if you can get it. Yeah, I had it square right here and it, it looked like it was a piece on top of a piece. Now maybe it camouflaged it because it's on an angle. Everything is just camouflaged, especially when you do body work. It doesn't flow beautiful, but that's the best I could do. Um, just like right here, I hacked that corner off to get it to flow. Um, could I have done better? Yeah, I guess you can always do better. Um, how would have I done it? I don't know. But anyway, back to this, if I would if I would have just made it square, I think it cuts off. It just boom, it's it's dead, it's done. So that's why I cut it on the angle. Especially when you look into it. That's just my opinion. It's just how I do things. And, you know, if you start making things, if I would have made these plates here, then you gotta go to hog out around these lines and everything. Not that you can't, but 
you got to make things accessible because this car is a street driven car. It's not a trailer queen. Now, if you was going to do a trailer queen, sure, you know, you, I've seen trailer queen, queens and I give respect because a trailer queen to a certain extent is the nicest a car could ever be. Me, I can never justify a trailer queen because I got to get use out of my stuff. Um, and I know Don will, he'll, you know, he'll romp on this. Tomorrow, I drill those holes out, like I said, and I pull all the diamond plate out and start sanding it and prepping it and do the door jams, prep those, prep the hatchback, pull the car over here in the middle, get rid of the table. Um, I got six minutes on YouTube. I'm probably not going to make a, a video tomorrow. I don't know. It depends how far I get. I gotta pull that rest of that diamond plate in there. Basically, this diamond plate, you got over a, a four foot by eight foot sheet of diamond plate, and to do this in the hood, it took more, just a little bit more than, took about a foot of that sheet, something like that. Um, Don, I haven't, I think he's gonna come over tomorrow, I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna show you guys the tattoo I have on my back now. Hopefully, and then you can see it when he gets done with it. What we anticipate is gonna be. And I'm going in the house and I'm going to relax because Justified's coming on. And. Oh, what is it? What's that show called? Hardcore Poems. Actually, what this is, this, is, this was done probably 15 years ago. It's a rip out tattoo with a pirate ship. And the pirate ship staff is bent down with a shark. Um, I don't know. Yeah, maybe you can see it, I don't know. But basically it's going to be a skull man here. Let me see my waist in there. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, it's going to be a skull man here and a, a pretty vicious guy here holding up my chain. And I think I'm going to put, I don't know what I'm going to put right here. I think about over on the top, instead of doing, I'm thinking put Wild Eye Northern Boy right here. I don't know. It's just like this thing. This changed, so that my ideas change every day. Yep, yeah, you see that? That's that's old man. No matter to me. Anyway, um, it's pretty much a done deal in my eyes. I'm tired. The mood indicator light is saying I don't know. It's saying the same colors. No, I guess it's changing a little bit. You guys think that's a joke, probably. What the heck is on the lens? Something's on the lens or something. Why don't that? What the? I don't know why it's getting blurry. There we go. Wow, you've been doing this enough time. You should know what to do. Anyway. I'm tired. And it's only been eight minutes. Um, words of wisdom. Let me think. Words of wisdom. <sighs> Marry a good woman that lets you come out in the garage whenever you can. Because that makes me happy and she knows it. I'm thankful for um, the snow is melting. That's a good thing. Snow melting. Is the light on? No. There we go. You might not think it is, but when you can start seeing ground, and the temp is. Uh, 31 degrees. Um, I don't know. It's, it's cold out, but it's definitely getting warmer. It says 35 on the wall, and this um, gauge tells you what's on the inside. 52 degrees, and it has a wire with a sensor outside, but I don't believe it works that well, because 35 degrees, yeah, maybe, I don't know. Um, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, people, oh, I restored this, I thought it was pretty cool. I don't, I don't have a car to put it in yet. Is <clears throat> I like these. 
is actually two pieces of wood and it's an octagon steering wheel I think you've probably seen it but I think it's cool I was thinking about that today I think about a lot of things yeah that's that's a shocker ain't it well like I said I ain't in a good mood my back hurts both my fingers are throbbing quick complaining time um, I'm thinking about um, my logo right there I'm thinking about getting a blue one maybe and put it right put it right here basically like uh, you know when you get papers approved at wherever a courthouse or whatever they got a little gold seal stamp well that means paint pimp was here um, I'm, I wasn't in a very good mood because I'll tell you why I like this and it makes me mad that I'm not working on my own stuff which is my own choice but here's the clincher I have a vet that I can I need to finish I have a transcend to finish and chopper you guys already know this my point is <laughs> this might sound weird I don't I've always done things myself because I like that I'm not a rich guy so I want to make everything I get I can myself and I don't want anybody to have anything I want, just like my bikes and stuff for my cars. I don't want nobody to pull up next to me and have the same thing I got, because I don't want to. That hap that's something that happened when I was a kid, but I'm not even going to go on that story. But anyway, that's why this irritates me, because no other car, I'm not trying to wave my own flag, but I'm kind of running the flag up the pole and see if somebody salutes it. And I think this come out pretty nice. And that's why it irritates me. Not that it came out nice, that... I vowed not to, I don't want nobody to have my stuff. But I wanted a tattoo, so you know, whatever. But I've learned, after this, I'm done. It's a done dog deal. Uh uh uh. uh, -uh. I don't want to do this no more. Especially, I will not do this for anybody. It might sound arrogant, but I choose not to. Will I shoot somebody's car? Maybe. Two years. I know that sounds arrogant too. You can see my mood's starting to kick in. Um, peace of mind. Peace with yourself. Shut the light off, Tom. Piece of property. And you guys know the rest, man. Peace.